Welcome back. In this video, we will get the rotation of the rudder and the para, or sorry, the um, propeller done. All right. So let's do the um, rudder first, and it's going to follow the same idea that we did for the periscope. First thing I'm going to do is go to a top view and just pan it down, and I'm going to put it into Z just so that we can sort of see what's going on here. All right. Make sure your frame is set to frame zero. And what we're going to do here is insert a rotation one, just like we did before. So you can press I and do a rotation. All right, so you can see that that's set to uh, 90 here. Now what we're going to do is get it to turn a little bit to the right, go back to the center, turn a little bit to the left, and then go back to the center. So what I'm going to be rotating it is on is, um, you can imagine that the Z axis is sort of spearing it through the top here so going down this blue one here and so we're going to be rotating it around that um, uh, axis so i'm just going to go back to that top view and you can see here on the z oops let's try that again we can rotate it like that okay so we'll set it there what we'll do just back to zero um, is go to eh, roughly here so we'll do it in, in roughly thirds so i'm just going to go to frame 30 and here, I'm going to rotate it. Let's do it 45. Okay, so let's move 45 degrees. And then I'm just going to insert, do the rotation. Okay, then I'm going to come over to 60. And I'm going to put this to negative 45. Okay, and then do the insertion, I, rotation. And then the last thing at the end, so frame 100. Okay, I'm going to set it back to zero and do a rotation again. So let's just play this to make sure. Play, there we go. So it rotates one way back to the center, rotates and then back to the center again. So, okay, that's the idea for that one. Good. So I'm just going to pause that. Whoops, went backwards. Stop it. Okay, so let's work on the, uh, the propeller. Propeller is actually easier. I'm just going to go to a back view. Sorry, there we go. Um, and there's my propeller there. And it's just like the periscope. Okay, we're just going to rotate it. So I'm going to make sure I'm back on frame one. You always have to start a, a keyframe. So you have to have a insert a rotation keyframe. And because all it's going to do is spin, I'm just going to go straight to the end. And this one, uh, the rotation is, so Z is up, Z is, or sorry, X is this way, so Y is what we're spinning around. The Y is sort of going into the screen here, and you can just see by rotating this, we can see it's rotating. And we're just going to do like we did before. I'm going to make that, uh, what did I do? So 360, so 100, and, uh, sorry, uh, 1800. Now it's off, just a second here. There we go. 1800. Okay, so that is uh, the rotation. And just press I to make that a keyframe as well. And it's rotation. So let's just see this now. Perfect. Rotating, rotating, and rotating. So let's just put it back into solid mode. And everything's working. Like I said, don't worry about that it speeds up and slows down there. Um, it's not a big a big deal. Everything looks like it's working well. Pause that. See what we've got. Good. And um, what we'll do next is set up the camera um, and then uh, set up the lighting, and then we'll do the sort of final final animation. So what I'm going to do here is just um, get a get a view here. So let's just take the side view. Might as well take the side view here. Uh, one thing we can do is um, turn off the the view of the uh, background image just on here. You can just um, unselect it. Oops, there, we don't have that thing. Now, this is our camera here. So at the moment our camera view is, is like that, we want to have a little bit better. Um, so the easiest thing to do is when you're in the view that you like, you come down here to view, and you go to align view, and there's lots of other things, but align active camera to view, align active camera to view. 
and basically it sets it up pretty well okay so what we had it there this box here is actually the camera view this is not in the camera the grayed out area so that's what our camera is showing us at the moment one thing that i want to do um, is pull the camera back a little bit so i'm going to go back to view here and what i'm going to do is toggle quad view and that gives you actually four different views so you got the camera a top front and right views and what i'm going to do is grab that camera so make sure your camera is selected right click on it if it isn't and i'm just going to pull that camera back just to make sure that subs in and maybe a little bit to the left there okay and then that's pretty good okay so we'll go back to here the toggle the quad view back to this so now it's nicely centered okay now we can take a picture of this and if you press f12 it will do a render and so well, what's the problem yeah the lighting is messed up okay we don't have enough light so if i go back to my view i just pressed escape the reason why we're only getting lighting on top is because we have this single light here that's providing light okay now you could increase the energy okay so if i clicked on the light and it gives me a bunch of stuff here i could you know sort of increase the energy let's just make that 10 see what happens okay so you can see that's brighter there now I hit f12 okay the top is still light you know it's lighter but the problem is really i just don't have any lighting underneath um so it's not really this being a problem you can even change the color of the light if you want and there's a variety of different types of light and the fall off and, and a variety of things um, we won't worry too much about that what we need really is a light to sort of fill in this area so i'm just going to press escape and go back and just like we could do with any object you can add a light so right on here you can see a lamp and we'll just put in a point lamp i'm going to bring it in make sure it's not inside the sub put it just in front let me just check that height that looks pretty good and again i'm just going to take a picture and now you can see we've got um, uh, different different lighting okay we can try it with a different type of light as well so that's a point light uh where's my type here okay we could change this into a sun okay now the sun is a little bit different it deals with the rotation spotlight that would point it we'd have to point it somewhere hemi light ah that looks a lot better now it's almost a little bit too bright i'm just gonna cut that down a little bit so press f12 again and it's just a little bit a little less less bright maybe even a little lower cut that energy in half okay i think that looks pretty good all right so we're basically done apart from the final animation and then the rendering and i'll show you a little trick just to make this background color a little bit better than this gray and then you'll have your first movie so we'll do that in the next and possibly last video.